Uh, it's got a lot of water, man. Somewhere in this kayak, the water's getting in. I think I know where, because of all the weight and me sat on it. This little lip here is so small. This fills up with water to about there. And I reckon sometimes when I sit down, I mean, it just goes through there and in. But yeah, you could have a bath in that. <laughs> that weighs a lot as well. No wonder my kayak felt so heavy paddling. I've got all my gear which weighs a ton, and then I've got carrying flipping half the flipping lock water in there. <sighs> well, I did say I was going to get out before I paddle today because it did feel heavy. It's just a pain having to do all this, but hey, it'll be worth it in the end. Look at that, beautiful morning. Beautiful morning. First of all, the kayak is a lot lighter. Now I've removed probably about 10 kilograms of water out of it. Oh, so much better. I mean, another lovely stay on that beach. And there's gonna be a scorcher today. I'm not even wearing a wetsuit. I wasn't gonna wear shorts and t-shirt, but to be honest with you, I don't wanna get sunburned. So I'm gonna be on the water all day. So I've got just a thin layer, thin layer, so I'm protected from the sun and it still keeps me cool. But there's no rain forecasted. And it looks like it's gonna be a cracking day. I mean, you can see, look at this. Sunshine. Hopefully it doesn't put the fish off.
perch. Well, the natural method's working. Being, I'm using these little worms, which I actually found on a beach, funny enough, when I was paddling up here. And they're just little artificial earthworms. Amazing bait. It's working a treat. Right? Spent all this money on lures and uh, <laughs> I find lures as trash on a beach and they're working. So. Not catching the biggest perch of all, but at least I'm catching fish. And there you have it. This is a little fake worm. Working well, this method. That's a nice perch. That's a nice perch. Well, I found the method that works. And a lovely perch. Beauty. There we go. Perch. Let's put him back. Well, this looks like a good beach setup. Lovely long beach and and perfectly spaced two trees to set up my hammock. So like I'm gonna be sleeping in the hammock tonight. Alternatively I could put my tent up. It's only like shingle, but I think I'm gonna sleep in the hammock tonight. Get it ready. Oh, so that's the uh, hammock setup. Is that a beautiful view? I'm just making a little fire pit at the moment. Just gonna go collect some wood or saw some wood. Yeah, that is gonna be a view tonight. I've never stayed here before. I've been on this beach before collecting uh, blueberries. 
um, but there aren't any now at the moment. There's a few small ones. It is about a month after the last time we were here. I think June, July is normally when they're, they're in full fruit. But yeah, there's not many blueberries about, so that's interesting because it wasn't so long ago we were here and uh, there was loads of them. But yeah, anyway, no blueberries. But this is Blueberry Beach, I call it. And then uh, we have that beautiful view. Like I said, I've never stayed yet. I've never stayed on this beach before, so it'll be fun. Something new, something interesting. Once again, I was forced off the beaches that I normally go to because um, obviously it's a weekend, Friday night, uh, popular. But what I looked at this morning that I showed you, that one was gone within 10 minutes. I think there's about five or six pike anglers on there, uh, all set up. So I lost that beach and I had loads of firewood, it had a perfect setup. But to be honest, I'm quite happy with this. A really nice view. I've never faced this way on the lock, so it should be good. It's just nice to go somewhere different every night, experience something different. Anything this uh, island doesn't have is a lot of firewood. Well, the island does, but this beach doesn't. So I know there's a, there's a dead tree over here, which I'm going to saw up, but when that's run out, that's pretty much all I've got. So I think I'm going to go for a smaller fire tonight. And yeah, let's go saw some wood and get some food on. Ah, this tree is dead. So we can have all this wood, as you can see. So I'm happy to saw this. I don't know how green it is. Hmm, it's a bit damp, but it'll do. It will do. That's a, it's not a lot of logs, but I'm going to make a small fire, so I'll make it last.
morning. So, uh, probably the best view I've had um, in terms of waking up to in a hammock. Look at that. Is that for a view? Got the sun rising. The wind rustling in the trees. Oh, this is my bug zapper light, by the way. It's a little gadget I bought on uh, on Amazon. We've got a light. Oh, you've got the zapper, which zaps the bugs. I don't know if you can see in there, but any bugs that get in with me and I open the zip, good shot. Or get burnt, shall I say. Great little gadget. I'll put the link in the description if anyone wants to buy one. But you can find them on eBay or Amazon. How's that for a view? What a view to wake up to. I didn't put a tarp up last night because the weather said it wasn't going to rain. I don't know if you can see through there, but it looks like there's rain coming this way. But I think it's just the sun and the clouds. So I'll be up in a minute. It didn't rain last night. And to be honest, I thought it was going to be cold, but it was fine. A sleeping bag, and I've got a uh, an inflatable underneath me, which has kept me warm from underneath. Believe it or not, uh, so I've got an inflatable sleeping bag, which is only a summer sleeping bag, and then I've just got a blanket, it's a little thin little blanket. Then I'm obviously wearing trousers, and I've got a hoodie on. So, yeah, I was actually really warm. And this stuff doesn't let as much wind through as you think it would. Not bad for a 20 something odd pound for a hammock. So easy to set up as well. Literally just some straps around the tree. And then this just literally carabine is on. And then this little pocket here on the side. Literally right over there. Literally the whole thing fits into that pocket which is sewn on and part of the whole design, so... So easy to set up. But yeah. That is a cool view to wake up to. Time to get up. Yeah, cool hammocks. How cool is that? Wish me have a view like that. Windier today than it said it was going to be. A 
a lot windier. Knock my worm off, you bastard. Nice little perch. Let's <laughs> get you back to the guy. Lovely little perch. Ooh. Let's get him back. Let's get him back. See you later, mate. Nice shot. <coughs> right, so I've got an artificial pike here. I'm gonna give that a go to try and catch a pike. See if that works. Quite a big lure for this rod, but it's all right. We will give it a go.
Right, so it's my campsite for tonight. It's quite a good spot actually. The wind is blowing straight into my campsite, which means uh, it's just going to blow all the bugs and midges away. Uh, I haven't seen any yet because the wind's quite strong. Um, it's always good to uh, pre camp site in direct wind, uh, especially in Scotland because of all the midges and the bugs and that that can bite you. So, yeah, um, obviously, as usual, someone's left a fire pit here. Uh, which is good for me. However, you shouldn't really you shouldn't really do that um, You should move your stuff away, but they've left me plenty of firewood um, So c'est la vie I might make a fire tonight. I don't know yet There's a kayak it weighs a ton so uh, pulling it up that beach was uh, was epic, but um, I'd rather have it closer to the uh, to the tent to be honest Because you never know if the water level could rise from rains, you know uh, further away from here and it is a river just just um, south of here so it could flow in and raise the water level my kayak could flow off in the night so definitely going to secure that uh, and then just peace of mind it's next to my tent uh, but yeah I'm on fish island as I call it nice little fish island it's getting dark now um, probably gonna <coughs> make some dinner I'll just put some clothes on before I start getting eaten alive but this wind seems to be doing the job yeah, another lovely night in uh, Scotland and another great little island. Really cool.